Warning, electrical shock hazard. Disconnect power before servicing. Replace all parts and panels before operating. Failure to do so can result in death or electrical shock. Excessive weight hazard. Use two or more people to move and install dishwasher. Failure to do so can result in back or other injury. My name is Phil Lally. I'm the product service manager for Whirlpool for the dish category. And today we're going to cover the new installation of a new model line we've got out uh, that's going to launch in February of 2020. It's a new design dishwasher from the ground up. So there are some installation differences from what you used to in the past. Uh, we're going to cover a KDPM 804 model today. So now we're going to plug in this drip pan float assembly, that orange wire that you disconnected when you took it off. Just plugs into the back. So once you get it plugged in, it, it'll stop beeping at you now. And to slide it back in, there's a piece here that has to align with this sh uh, shelf on both sides. So on top of the shelf, and then it just slides right in, snaps in. And you don't want to put the toe panel on now because we're going to test it for leaks. If everything's okay, looks good to the customer aesthetically. You can go ahead and put the insulation, pack it back in. This one goes in like this. It just tucks up in there. And then you've got this adjustable one that goes up and down to cover your gap in the floor. This insulation just tucks up underneath the door. You line the holes up there. And then a the nice new feature about the toe panel we didn't have in the past are these two cutouts here and the clips. You just clip it on both sides. And now it pretty much stays there while you find the screws and line up the holes. So I just start the screws first and I take a screwdriver and push this down to the floor so you cover that gap up. Then you can finish tightening the screws. 